and welcome back to Minecraft. Let's build Star's Reach. Now, last time I was working on the upper areas of my place up there. The upper areas of the main towers. And I finally got them done. I managed to get all the materials. I went and chopped down a bunch of trees, got them built, and got all four of them finished. And between episodes, I also put a roof on this place. I actually put a floor in using some tin bricks from Metallurgy. And I actually mentioned this in my main series. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I got the upper area finally finished. I got the upper towers finished. So, what I think I'm going to do today is work on the outer ring. I'm going to work on the uh, this uh, large platform right here that I have put together as well as the walkways leading to the main towers. I'm going to work on this, see if I can get it done in this episode, and if I can, then this will probably be the last episode of the Let's Build. Now, I won't complete the whole build in this episode. I'll uh, just finish this circle as well as the walkways. And then once that's done, I'll probably end this episode and get working on copying whatever design I come up with on the other three sides. But, yeah, that will probably be the end of the Let's Build because this place will be done. So, let's get started, shall we? So... What I plan on doing here is creating a platform. I already have this uh, basic flat piece I've already put together because it was basically just uh, a round cir a circle area that I wanted to put together to outline where I want this uh, platform to be. Now, what I plan on doing, and what I'm doing right now is marking it out, is to have, an, similar to what I did on the main build, basically an upside down dome. Now, because I'm working with a much smaller area instead of a 64 by 60 a 64 wide sphere, I'm only working with a 13 block wide sphere. It's a bit more difficult to get the shape right to get it to look right. So, what I'm doing right now is marking out where I want it as well as starting working on the actual side pieces of it. Now I'm gonna right here I planned planned on uh, doing what I did before on the main for on the main uh, build which was to use basalt brick and basalt stairs as well as stone brick and stone stairs to uh, create a band on each side like this coming down to a point but uh, I do go back at, at a later point and change this because I did not like the way it came out and I just had massive amounts of problems trying to get this into a shape that I was actually happy with I mean I just couldn't get it to come out just right I mean right here I uh, this is the original design I came up with. The original design that I was going to go with just having two bands of uh, stone brick with one band of basalt on each side. But I just could not get the shape of it right. It just didn't look right. Especially once I started working on the outer areas. The uh, actual side pieces, quarter pieces sphere areas like I'm work do that I'm doing right now and just like with the main build I'm using marble stairs and uh, marble brick now originally I had decided to use some basalt half slab pavers but it just did not look exactly right it didn't feel right the way it came out and in, in the end I decided to just scrap it and actually go back because I just could not get this to look right I mean here it is I'm using the marble bricks as well and a combination of marble bricks and the basalt paver slabs and 
I, at the time when I was putting it together, I thought it might look okay. And in fact, from right here, it does look kind of nice, but the shape of it just didn't come out right. It came out a bit too bulky, a bit too squared off, and it just did not look right. So I redesigned it a little bit, and I kept fiddling with it and changing it and redoing the brickwork, and, it, and all in all, it took me around three hours or over three hours to really get this one piece done. Just the spherical platform here to get a design I was happy with. Because, <laughs> yeah, it, I just kept, kept going back and trying to figure out exactly how I wanted it to be done. But, yeah. All in all, I was not happy with th this design. I did go ahead and complete this platform like this with this design I repeated this pattern on the other sides because I thought maybe if I had a, had it completed maybe if I did it all together and took a better look from it from distance it might look better but yeah uh, I was just not happy with it uh, I did use the uh, <laughs> carpenter's brick right there just like I did on the other other portions but it just uh yeah it, it just did not come out in a way that I was happy with uh, and I still have no way to fly <laughs> which is something I really should have a uh, I really should do in my main series I do have the uh oh uh what's it called Thomcraft thing and I could do to get flying and I really should have done that before I even started working on this but yeah hindsight is 2020 and I'm already almost done with this whole build so yeah but yeah as you can see it came out just just not good I mean the stripe the way the basalt paper slabs came out it just didn't look right at a distance. It doesn't look right when it's close up. And yeah, it just I don't know. It just seemed too much white, too much marble. So what I ended up doing was going back and just redesigning the whole damn thing, which is what what you're seeing right here. So instead of just having the uh, two bands of stone brick and stone brick stairs I just cut the whole thing down and replaced the side walls with a five block wide band with three three bands of a uh, stone brick and two bands of the basalt brick stairs and blocks and all in all I think it came out a little bit better it reduced the the uh, quarter spheres on the uh, corner areas as well as I changed up a, a little bit of the way it was I uh, increased the amount of basalt paver slabs I was using to uh, give it a bit more dark feeling to it it, it makes it a bit more dark because I, it just felt like it was using too much marble so yeah here we are I'm putting in the uh, second band of these design I came up with using the marble, the uh, brick and uh, basalt. And all in all, I think it came out a little bit better with this design. I'm still using the carpenter's bricks right there at the bottom corner. Even though I do go back and change up this design slightly, just slightly, so I can actually have a uh, marble stair right there instead of the uh, carpenter's block because I think it came out comes out a little bit better like that it blends in with the other stairwell stair blocks that uh, are around it but all in all I think this build came out a little bit better than I thought it would especially with all the trouble I was having coming up with a design that I was happy with that looked nice and actually fit with the rest of what I had 
planned for the outer ring as well as fitting in with the main building. Which is why I am limiting myself to marble, brick, stone brick, and the basalt. Because that's what I mainly used on my build, aside from the uh, wood I used on the roof. But there's no roof on this build. There's no roof on these outer rings or this outer platforms. Because I'm leaving it open air, and uh, I think that that's a better look to it. And besides, with the way the uh, outer ring curves like it does, trying to put a roof on it would just be more has more hassle than it's actually worth. But yeah, I was able to get the main platform done, and now I'm going to start on wor uh, start on the uh, actual walkways themselves. Now I'm starting off on the bottom here using basalt stairs, just like I did on the bridges leading out from the main building to the outer towers. Uh, but there is a slight problem with the way it curves and trying to keep the uh, getting the stairway getting those stairs to match up without clashing with each other, without running into each other, which is a real problem I ran into when I was putting this together. Uh, I ended up having to cut back and redo a few p pieces, which you'll see later. But, uh, yeah. What I plan on doing is having a marble strip right at the bottom, just like I did on the bridges, a, a strip of marble paver leading from the tower all the way out to the platform all the way along the bottom and that is where I ran into problems because the way I'm doing it right now I'm just leading the stairs in by one block and uh, leading it as one continuous strip of stairs which is what I really should not have done and you'll see why later on but yeah but yeah this is one of the largest builds I've actually ever done. I mean, I I did do in a vanilla when this was a vanilla server. I did do a fairly large town out in the middle of a jungle, uh, and <laughs> in hindsight, it was a horrible idea because I had to clear cut jungle and level off entire areas by hand because it was a vanilla <laughs> vanilla survival <laughs> so yeah no creative mode no uh no mods or anything since it was vanilla but yeah that was one of the larger i was probably the largest build i've ever done but this is one of the most complicated builds i've done considering all considering it's suspended in midair like this it is one of the more complicated builds one of the more uh, detailed builds that I have done. Because in my previous two series, I didn't really go for any large buildings. Well, aside from my house in my last series. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Because b the series before that, I was just doing rush trying to get to space. And uh, that was my main focus. I didn't really build anything uh, massive aside from a house and a couple work buildings. But I did do a massive, massive uh, office building in a previous world. But it wasn't recorded or anything like that. Yeah. But, yeah. Here we are. I finally got to the bottom of it done. And I got that white uh, marble paver strip in. So here I am. I'm replacing the side blocks with those marble pavers, as well as adding a top layer of basalt brick. And then fill, and here I am just filling in the stone brick under layer before the actual walkway layer. Because I do plan on having a walkway of a special type of brick. I really haven't decided what type I want to use. But I do plan on having a... Uh, walkway from the tower out to the platform and probably be pro I will probably probably be using more of those uh, magical crops 
lighted stone bricks for it. But yeah, this is almost done. And this is pretty much the design I'm going to go with for the rest of it. For the other two sections. Uh, well, aside from maybe a few details, I might change some stuff up here and there. But yeah, this is pretty much it. And all in all, this has been a pretty big build. One of my, like I said, one of my largest. And uh, yeah, this is probably going to be the last main building episode of my Let's Build series. Because the rest of it is just me copying this design and rebuilding it by hand on the other three sides. So, here we are. This is it. This is the finished design, the basic design I'm going to go with. And there we go. Okay, well, huh. it took some time and a lot of redesigning on this platform right here to get all of this done. But I think this is pretty much what I'm going to go with on the rest of these sections. Now what I think I'm going to do is get some more materials because I am running low on marble and basalt again. And uh, clean up all that brick down there. And rebuild this uh, walkway right here. So it's interconnected up to right here. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave the uh, area right here on the platform itself until I actually figure out what it is I want to put here. Because I'm going to have four of these. So I'll have room for all kinds of different stuff on them. So I'll leave the design for how I'm going to build it and what I'm going to have here until I figure out what it is I want to put here inside the main series. And I think I'll figure that out in the main series. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to continue working on this and copy over what I have right here on this walkway on the other section, copy this uh, platform on the other three areas, and this is pretty much it. This is the end. I might do one more uh, Let's Build episode, a short one, once I actually get these platforms done, get these walkways done, because it's basically just going to be me copying over what I've already built. So I don't think you want to watch me do that on camera again. Because this took <laughs> this took like three hours to do. Uh, a falling down and all that stuff. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. And I might do one more episode of Let's Build. Once I am done with all of this, just to show off what I have done. So, until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!